<laughs> Start with a good old fashioned scream. <laughs> scream right into the ears of the viewers. Oh, oh! That's that's how you might be feeling when you think about digital painting. But don't worry. You're about to be feeling different. You you might feel a little different after this class. You'll feel more like ooh or mmm or maybe a little ooh or maybe just like a <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Sorry everyone. I really uh I thought I thought I was being funny, but I uh, I, I scared I scared everyone. I mean, it was funny to me. It was it was funny to me, but maybe not to to you, the paying uh, patrons who are here. Uh, thank you, by the way, for joining. Yeah, thank you for joining. Thank you for paying. Thank you for being here. Uh, if you're watching live, and if you're watching this later, hey, welcome as well to you. You could consider joining this tier and then you could get privately screamed at in your ears. Yeah, you could react in real time in chat and tell me just just what you were doing when you heard me scream in your ears. This is <laughs> MSC's all... first draw class. Oh my goodness. Yeah. MSC, uh, you're about to learn some things. Welcome everyone. Uh I'm let's about to I'm see gonna... some good painting. Julia, you're not in this. I'm leaving. What is Hi, Julia. Oh, I just threw her glove at my screen. I'm gonna need that back. Bye, Julia. What the hell? Bye, Julia. That was rude. That was pretty good. That was rude behavior. All right. I'm just going to share my screen. Here we go. No, oh, it's a title screen. It's a title screen. I'm just keeping this. Thing. I've like I've reached the point um, in in draw class where I don't I don't feel like an expert on anything any like I've everything that I felt confident about teaching I've already taught you. So <laughs> everything from this point on is just sort of like a, a communal we're figuring it out together kind sure, of one. Yeah. Uh, so I'm just gonna you know I've been I've been doing this sort of um, trying to get more into digital painting if you've been watching the Drawfee speed draws. I'm going to sneeze. <laughs> if you've been drop, dropping the watchy speed draws. <laughs> I've been. I've been dropping. You, yeah. If you've been doing that, uh, you've noticed I've been trying out some digital painting every now and again. Uh, and so people seemed interested in uh, learning about that from me for this month. And so I figured I could just sort of talk about what I've been doing behind the scenes to improve my digital painting, uh, which is basically going to be sort of paraphrasing slash quoting other tutorials uh, that I've been using. That maybe uh, maybe seeing someone uh, who is in the process of learning and improving uh, in this way do it uh, will be helpful because obviously like these tutorials are available online you can you can look them up yourself but uh i'm here to to help guide you through it so this is digital painting for beginners with nathan who is also still a beginner in many senses hell yeah um bu -bu 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 -bu. i'm excited to learn i've, oh, I've thank you i've thank noticed you a thing about the stream this time is that i have um i'm i'm streaming out from my bigger monitor that has a higher mm -hmm. resolution and so the Zoom webcams are like really small. <laughs> we're <laughs> I like, think that's good. We're so tiny. We're we don't even guys. fit in one little Photoshop window. You can move us around. You can put us wherever. I tried to make us a little bigger, but I don't think I have. I don't think I have the right. No, we're we're little because that that's what we are. We're we're very small in the grand scheme of uh, good digital painters that are out there. Yeah, it's a metaphor. Um, so yeah, I think we can just, I don't know. Do we need to wait for more people to, to get in here? We got, we got 13. 13. That's pretty good. All right, let's, let's get into it. Let's rip it, dude. So, um, basically here's what I did. Here are the steps 
on my digital painting journey. <laughs> if this is going too fast. Yeah, let me know. We can repeat uh, steps if you need more clarification. Yeah. <laughs> but I mean, it, it like, it really is like going back to sort of the core philosophy of, of any draw class that I'm teaching as someone who did not go to art school, who does not have like a, a formal uh, sort of background in terms of like vocabulary and just like training when it comes to uh, doing art. Uh, we're, we're, ju we're just we're all just sort of bumble assing our way through. Sure are. And. And that's fine because there are people who who did the stuff already and have the vocabulary and have the skills and the desire to teach, and uh, the stuff is available. You could, yeah, we can stand on the backs of titans. Yeah, and so I'm going yeah. to be heavily leaning on them for this because this is an area that I am uh, very. Again, I, I think I'm I'm very much like a, a novice at this still, uh, and so I'm making stuff obviously professionally, professionally. I'm I'm making my my living doing this uh, in in some respects, but it's like it's for entertainment. Um, but you can still improve. You can still use the resources that are available to improve, and you can sort of make it your own because i would i would say that if you compared my art to the people that i've been learning from you would notice pretty significant differences there but the um but the lessons there are, are universal and so you can you can apply them to your art as well yeah um, dude so i'm just gonna show some examples of the artists that i think at this stage of my artistic development uh, have been the most impactful and helpful uh, specifically when it comes to digital painting. So I've talked about him before. I talked about him a lot in the um, uh, Sincere Fan Art video where I drew Laszlo, uh, but Max Greca, who I just, I really dig his style a lot. It's so good. Um I really like sort of the variety in like the, the, the level of detail that he goes into with his renders. He has some like more sketchy stuff that's just like value studies. And then he has these more sort of um, smooth, soft painterly stuff. But everything that he, he makes has such a strong feel of like form to it. Yeah, totally. Like they feel like they're popping out of the uh, of the screen at you. Like they like these could be like photographs of little clay figurines almost you know yeah and just um, the shapes the shapes so are shape really forward. good the composition's really good the just like the energy the personality in them is really good and it it's it's this cool mix of like really sort of cartoony design and really uh sort of polished technical rendering which creates this this really cool effect i think um so these are just a few examples i pulled off of his uh instagram jamie just linked uh his art station uh and again he has tutorials available i used his tutorial uh very like i basically one-to-one -one his tutorial for uh, my Laszlo, I can show you. This is this is the the PSD for the tutorial that you can download. Um, it's just like sort of a, a guide to rendering. It's just a it's just a very simple bust. And so I, for mine, also went with. Uh, oh God! Oh God! Please! Oh God! Oh no! Oh God! I've got a lot of PSDs open. This is Jacob's hosting the stream at my request uh, because I I have a lot of multi-layer files open that because i want to talk about them nathan yeah. real quick zappy yeah. has asked if you could uh write out the names of the artists somewhere just for like spelling and stuff in that's case a great, uh, that's a great idea in case they're hard to find if people here don't know go. the spelling here we go i put the glove back in your chair or whatever 
There it is. Look at your chair. Look under your butt. <gasps> Look under your seat. It's a drawing you glove. You get a glove, then you get a glove. Um, I will do this. I, I should have done this already, but I will do it for the next one as well. Yeah, but sorry anyway. to interrupt you there. No, no, that's good. You got your eye on chat. That's that's what you're here for. Inter interrupt me as much as you uh, as you please, because I uh, I need it. But yeah, so here's the um, sort of the side by side, his tutorial and then my piece. Obviously, his is a lot more, I would say, vibrant like he does. I, I basically did the first third of the tutorial, which was just a lot about um, rendering in the uh, the values and then applying color on top. He does a lot of extra stuff. Like if you look at the, um, like this is after he's already uh, done his like base render and, and color, he, th these are all the layers of just like extra stuff he does on top. Um, and again, there's a whole video of it, but like there's a lot of real subtle uh, yeah, yeah. shading and and rendering and and stuff with like using warms and cools to contrast with each other in addition to just like dark and light. Um, so like that's very advanced. Again, I consider myself much more in the beginner step. So I was mostly focusing on just like using his brushes to get sort of a, a form indicated and then adding color on top of that and then doing a little bit of rim lighting sort of at the end to, to make it pop a little bit. But again, you know, very sort of different end results, but that's sort of what, what you can get when you, when you use a tutorial, you can, in, you can make something that like, I've never made anything like this before. Uh, and so that's something I would recommend uh, you do is, is, is look up tutorials and, um, and try pushing outside your comfort zone I'm probably gonna do that after this. I'm yeah. probably gonna get his tutorial and go through it. And and you can get his brushes as well. It's it's on Gumroad the tutorial, and it's you get the you get a video, you get a PSD, and you get the brushes, and it's you know pay what you want on Gumroad. I think, I think it was like the the recommended was like five or ten bucks. Definitely worth it. Yeah, that's so cheap. <laughs> yeah, for the knowledge you're receiving. Uh, another, uh, another really good for beginners, uh, resource I would say is Cynics, Cynics Design, write that. Um, he has a little like 10 minute painting for beginners video that I straight up, uh, screen cap some, some shots from for this because it's good. It's, it's very helpful and, uh, Cynics design Dane design uh and so you can see just sort of like does a lot of really cool um portraits and then also this this stuff this like just three color studies that that he's done he he talks a lot about um in in the in the beginner tutorial about just like how painting uh, especially if you're coming in as a someone who's more comfortable with drawing, uh, is is it's about shape, whereas drawing is about line. Painting is your your number one focus is shape, and so this is I think a really good example of that over here of of his ability to like break down these complicated forms into very uh, simple yet interesting uh, shapes. Yeah, yeah. Um, Have you watched Nathan his like anatomy videos? Uh, probably at he, some point. He's got like this set called Anatomy Quick Tips, mm -hmm. and I can't recommend those videos highly enough for like yeah. learning how to draw different anatomy parts because he shows you like the technicals, but then he's like, "And this is how you simplify it effectively," yeah. and it's yeah. it's so helpful. So another thing from him I recommend. Absolutely. Um, and then, uh, of course, got to shout out uh, my brother. Oh, hell yeah. Steven, who 
is a really good digital painter in his own right. And I, know I have, I have, he doesn't, I don't think he's done any tutorials, but like just looking at his stuff and talking to him, I've, I've learned a lot. Um, and again, his stuff, I, I really like the range uh, of, of his painting. Like he's got this real, he can do real polished stuff like this. And then also his ability to do these really simple sort of rough and dirty, um, like I would say like painting sketches is yeah, what yeah. I would call them. Totally. Like, which I think is is really cool. Just like getting, again, like composition, value, these really good shapes. And like, you you get so much, you, you get like such an idea of these characters that he's that he's made just from these very simple um, value studies. Yeah, he's really good. Uh, and again, like just the the like dark and light uh, going on there. And so I thought, let's just let's just look at some of the uh, some of the stuff from the cynics tutorial. You can I definitely. Like this is this is his tutorial. I am just uh, pulling some some stuff because I think it's uh, it's a good starting place, and it is what I try and come back to uh, as sort of my guiding philosophy when I'm doing digital painting. And I think he he simplifies it really well. But like I said, uh, it's like th this is at it, at its most basic like. If you're making the jump from drawing to painting, it's it's the jump from lines to shapes. Thinking about your subject matter in terms of shapes is going to help you so much um, when you're painting because that's that's basically what you're doing is is you're just sort of throwing shapes at the screen until it makes the thing look like the thing. Yeah. you're trying to do it looks like magic when you see other people do it yeah because it's like it's just it looks like random shapes for a while and then all mm -hmm. of a sudden it's like a perfect portrait yeah and you're like and how so, in the world did you get from there to here a lot of it is just sort of training yourself to look for the shapes in in the subjects that you're looking at so uh he the, the term the term he uses in his videos distillation and that's basically like, you know, take something with, with a very complicated or a lot of values and you as the artist get to decide how you want to represent it in your painting. Uh, so these are all valid ways of distilling this sort of smooth sphere shape. Um, you can have the, uh, the, you know, you can, you can choose to make the shadow very small compared to the light. You can choose to make them equal. You can choose to make it very dark and have the, the light be small. These, uh, he, he talks about in the video are more interesting visually than just the, the half and half. Um, because you are, uh, as, as the artist, you're, you're indicating, uh, you, you, you basically, you've made a choice, right? You've decided this or this is like more important. There's like a hierarchy here. Whereas this is, you, you're not really giving the viewer anything besides like, yeah, it's, it's light and dark, but here it's like, oh, this is a dark shape with a highlight. This is a light shape with a shadow. Yeah. Um, so that's something to think about as the artist. like th these are all artists representations of a shape. But you, as the artist, get to make the decisions ultimately, and so um, the more that you practice doing that, the more you will be able to sort of get a sense of your own sensibilities and what you like in your own painting. Um, and then uh, he he does some examples of distillation, looking at uh, another artist's uh, painting. He credits the artist in the video. I forget the name of the artist. I should have looked that up. That's but... one degree of credit too far. 
I know. We can I'm only sorry. credit one person. No, I did a bad. Uh, but these are his um, distillation. So first, he just uses light and dark, just two values. And then um, he talks about adding a third value and only working that third value inside either the light or the dark. So in this example, he's adding the third value to lighten up the shadows. Um, and what he did is he he selected just the shadows and only added this third value over top of them. So the lights he's decided are going to remain as they were, but we're going to add a net, another level of detail inside the shadows. Uh, and that's and that's basically what you're doing when you're painting. So uh, to go back to this example, like if we if we go back to sort of my under my underpainting here, um, can let's see. Got to play the layer game. Which layers will it be? I actually don't know what's happening here. So, oh, I see. Okay. So. I feel bad for the people that uh, get our PSDs. I, ha I don't label anything. As I'm so Patreon sorry. rewards, because mine look just like this too, Nathan. It's a disaster in there. Okay. So in this one, what I did was I, uh, what did I do? What did I do? <laughs> what did I do? Oh no, what did I do? Um, I'm just gonna turn off all of the color layers for a sec. Try and find them all. <laughs> yeah. Just the nose and mouth being in color was really funny. Yeah. So like obviously this is this is very smoothed out, but to start, I tried to find the the darks, the the darkest darks, rendered those in, and then basically worked dark to light, um, adding in sort of subtle gradations. And again, I, I don't I don't think I did it technically the best way that you should in this, but like that's basically what what I was doing is like splitting the difference finding like finding the dark colors and then just sort of lightening those up and you know finding the grays and 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 basically defining these sort of shapes in here and again since since this was was based more on the the max uh, greca tutorial i do use lines so um eventually i i sort of clean the lines up and get rid of them uh, but you can still sort of see them in there. And so if, if, if using lines is helpful to you, I wouldn't say like, don't, don't use them at all, but, uh, it's worth it to try practicing just defining the shapes because that'll end up helping you in the long run. Uh, let's see, I think this is my, my Witcher sort of similar idea here. Like I, I, I went very much with like these 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 dark darks to start and then um sort of worked in the the light areas with gray until i had sort of these shapes to find and then I, I went over top with a with a white to to make the the highlights contrast with everything but um yeah so so like that um, and so I thought I would do some example distillations for this class. Uh, oh, I baby. like, I like to do, I, I, I think that drawing animals is just more fun for me than drawing, uh, humans. Yeah. You said uh, you're in your creature arc right now. I'm in my creature arc right now. It's what, what I like about it is if you, if you mess it up, uh, a lot of times, particularly in in uh, in this example, like we're we're trying to define shapes, um, and and that's sort of the skill we're trying to work. So obviously, like 
perfect one-to-one representation, we're not necessarily going to get it. We're trying to be pretty loose, uh, being able to like accurately do representative art um, is something that you develop from practicing. And so just because we spend so much of our time looking at people, we notice mistakes uh, in our visual representation of people more than we do in in animals. And so I, I find it helps me be a little looser uh, and and focus on just the like finding interesting shapes uh, more so than um, than it, than if I were uh, drawing humans. Obviously, like you should practice drawing human anatomy because that's just like a great way to improve your drawing skills. Um, because again, you will notice the mistakes you make and it'll be able to improve. Um, so here's a little Horms. Horms. Uh, and I really liked this. Uh, this is just an image I pulled from Line of Action, uh, their animals. And I really like this composition because the background is is nicely split between light and dark. Yeah, yeah. Um, and so uh, you you get some really good shapes out of it. So here's my... Uh, distillation oh yeah and again it's like it's not it's very rough it's very loose um not a perfect one-to-one representation but like we're using the darkness of the background to define this sort of light form here and then we're using the shadows on the horse uh in sort of the lighter part of the background to define that so like you know, I'm all as as a person who is more used to drawing, I'm always tempted to like add in some lines, but I really tried to just focus on shapes. Yeah, you did great uh, at this. And um uh and yeah, and so you end up with like a, a real interesting composition here, uh light and dark, and you and and I think it's it's very visually interesting, and you let the viewer um fill in the shapes as well and you get a sense of like oh it's it's a it's a sunny day like there are there are aspects of this that like are are blending in with the like the sun is coming in here it's hitting this it's also hitting this and then there's sort of like some shaded trees in the background um, and so you can let these sort of shapes blend together this this zone is a little messy here i maybe would have clean that up if I had given myself more time to do this, but this was sort of like a little rough, rough and tumble uh, before stream example. Did a little rhino. Oh, as well. I like that rhino. And so this one I think is a good example of like as an artist making decisions. So, cause this is, it's just the background and the rhino are very light here. And so the, it kind of gets lost a little bit. And so like that, if you're going for just like one-to-one photo to painting, like you would eventually sort of render this in to, to define the form a little better or not, you know, like you could say like, I, I want this to feel like it's, it's a bright sunny day here and you can't really see the, the rhino, like the rhino is sort of blending in with, with its environment, but you as the artist can be like, you know what? I I want to define the rhino more. I, you know, I'm gonna use that that horse image as a as an example and darken in the background here, and yeah, use yeah. the this background value that I've fabricated for the purpose of my of my painting to help define the form uh, better. Uh, and so that's that's just something you can you can think about when you're when you're painting is like it's your painting you can you can decide you know what actually this should be darker for for the purposes of composition if you go from this rhino to the other rhino it looks like the rhino just got blasted by like a kamehameha wave or something (laughs) and is like being dissolved (laughs) (laughs) yeah still standing very stoically yeah it's just 
this, <laughs> this is my fate. Yeah, because like the only the only shadows we get in the background and in the actual image are like the shadows on these sort of stone bricks in the background. Yeah, and so you can sort of you can sort of get a sense of the of the shape of of the creature. And I guess like up here, I could have. Like it gets pretty dark towards the top, but again, like that's outside the form of the rhino, so it's like not really doing much. Yeah, it doesn't help you too much. It doesn't help too much, but like that, that would be like sort of going in like this, this sort of shape here, the fence. What what have you? Um, but yeah, and then. So yeah, I thought maybe we could do some some more practice distillations um, with maybe one of the example uh, example artists that we have. Like, I really like this Batman image. Oh hell so yeah! Maybe maybe we could all we could just uh, we could do that together. Should as a, I should as a I class. do it too? If you want, yeah. And and um, I tried to keep this very basic. Like obviously, um, there are some amazing brushes in Photoshop, and uh, you know a lot of digital art programs have a lot of really good painting brushes. I for those just was using the um, the the basic uh, hard round brush, and so that's that's what I'm going to be using for for the majority of this. I put us on starting soon so I could get my program open. Go for it. Without uh, doxing myself no doxing. or anyone else. OK, we're back. We're back in action. Nice. So yeah, and and another thing that I, I this is sort of a do it do as I say, not as I do, but like um I use just like black, pure black a lot in my uh in my painting. And I think in general you you don't you want to use like a dark gray. Uh it just like is a little little e little little easier on the eyes, and then like you can save that that black black for like um really defining like once you're once you're deep into the render and like you really want to define like the darkest bits yeah uh, you can do that so yeah i'm just kind of using like sort of a a little light lightish yellow as the light and then i'm i just sort of color picked this um this like gray he's got it's it's really nice he's got like this sort of brown and and we can we can talk a little bit about like color choices um, here, but yeah, he's got this like nice sort of brownish gray in the background, and then it like is more of a bluish gray on on the boy. We'll, we'll do this bluish gray so for contrast purposes. Um, and then yeah, so we've got this like really nice um, background dark shape to start with. We can just sort of like block in. Um, I'm just sort of going. Yeah, you can just sort of go. I don't know how well it's, this is gonna go for me, but I am going. I think just go, like, and and everyone, like, you can do it however you want. Um, I'm just like starting with this background shape, adding this sort of shadow, and then yeah, like this foot, this foot goes like almost straight up, and then yeah, he's like. Doing a little like this coming at us using the eraser here. It's like um, so hard for me to not do lines. Yeah, I mean that I, I sort of do lines and then I'm like, okay, but make it a shape. <laughs> yeah, and then like get rid of them. <laughs> yeah, there's this really good shape here of uh, the cloak or the cape makes right here. And then this I would say is like shadow here like he's doing he's doing this like cool rim lighting which is like a fun i wouldn't say cheat but like it's what i if you know what you're doing with rim lighting it's not a cheat but you can use rim lighting as a cheat if you don't know what you're doing which is what i do a lot of the time uh and that's loud i won't tell anyone 
I won't tell anyone. So it becomes such a good, such good shapes. This guy, this, this guy freaking does. Guy. This freaking guy does his such good shapes. His shapes. It's ridiculous. I'm already. So again, like I've already. Yeah, and so it's a lot of push and pull. Got like sort of the leg is light here. Um, shadow got the like the belt. This little patch on the belt is very defined here. <laughs> your your progress looks so different from my progress right now. And that's okay. Like there, I don't. I wouldn't say that I'm doing it. Like, you know, we're, we're just we're just trying to find these shapes. Yeah. But you can do it however, you know, whatever shapes are jumping out at you. It's like a totally different set of brain thoughts. Yeah. That go into it. It's it's crazy. Yeah. I definitely want to get better at this sort of thing though. So this is the kind of thing I should be working on. Absolutely. And always get better. Yeah. Like, you know, yeah, hands are really hard. Cynics talks about that in, in his tutorial is like hands are, are one of the hardest ones to, um, to, to simplify. And then so like here, this this hand is like very much in shadow, but compared to the cape, it like it's it's light. So it, a lot of it is just sort of like deciding how you want to indicate stuff. So like I think it it's correct you to either um, like either way you want to do it is correct. Like you could say like no, this is all in shadow. Like we don't even we don't even get to see it, or you can be like, well, compared to the compared to the cape, it's it's light. So. Yeah, I'm sort of like readjusting my conception of what is light and shadow on the fly here. Yeah, and that's and that's what that's sort of what it what it all boils down to, you know, like a little bit of rim lighting over here. A little bit of Monica in my life. Yeah. Like that. So like this is again very like basic, but that's sort of I guess this is this is shadow. This is in shadow here. I don't know. I don't know if I did this right. But that's sort of it's it's a it's a way to do it, you know? It's just like this is this is a composition. I didn't get it exactly right, but I mean, I'm I'm definitely not getting it exactly right. You sort of get the idea. So don't even worry about that. Yeah, the cape. Probably should have got to the cape a bit earlier. <laughs> that's gonna. That's gonna take out a lot of. Uh, detail back there yep but hey you know live and learn like sonic the hedgehog like sonic says live and also learn yeah this is this is just like a study so it doesn't need to be super duper detailed but yeah i'm just sort of getting rid of these little like almost lines Trying to trying to be like, okay, what can I what can I take out? And then the big the big shadow, which I hadn't even see, I didn't even start with the big shadow. I should have done that. Like yeah. you did. It just helps. Probably would have like, probably would have. Because like with pieces like this, like he's done, he's done such a, he's done us such a favor by, by, by giving us that because we can just sort of use that as the, 
that's the marker for, for a lot of the stuff. <clears throat> yeah, like I think that's I think that's fine. And then like if we wanted to go in and add a uh, add a third value, we can choose, you know, do we want to lighten up some of these darks? Like this. Yeah, I, I don't know. I'll do it like that. How well I've done this. It's that's, okay. That's okay. That's totally fine. I'm glad that it's okay because it's not going to change the outcome. Yeah. Or conversely, we could add a third value on the lights and be like, okay, how do we how do we do it this way instead? I think either way is valid. Don't mind me just shrinking Batman's head. Don't tell anyone I had to shrink Batman's head. Please. Keep it a secret. Again, like these, they're they're just sort of blobbies, but um, I guess like here, here really we can we can start to see that like this is this the head is lighter than than the sword this, than the than the sword than this part of the cape. Like that, yeah. Here, where the abs are. <laughs> this is the wackest Batman. Yeah, I mean, he's just, he's this just is... from, uh, like, the, <laughs> you know, side by side. Obviously, I didn't, I didn't nail the, uh, the form perfectly, but you get, you get kind of the idea. Yours is, is better than mine. I'll tell you that. Well, I appreciate that. I mean, I, I can I can show it. You want to show a, it here in a sec, oh but this is kind of a nightmare, Batman. <laughs> That's okay. We're just practicing. This is all just for fun. Uh, if it's for fun, then how come I'm not having fun? Whoa! Don't say that. Riddle me that. Batman. Sorry, I got the Riddler mindset accidentally. Yeah, that's fair. Instead of the Batman mindset. But yeah, like, and this is this is just like, you know, at the end of the day, this is just for you. This is just practicing. It's for me. It's just, just for you. Yeah, I think it. I think in this instance. You know, working the the light, putting the third value in the light instead of the shadow, just because of the way I I chose to distill it, uh, definitely helped define the form better than than the other way. Yeah, I kind of uh, didn't follow the instructions. That's okay. Do you want to share? Yeah, I will. I will share where I where I'll I'm stop. at in this. I will stop share. I will show you my my Batman. Oh, that's great. Here's my my Batman. Yeah. He's not quite he's not quite right, but I learned some things from trying. This is my first ever attempt at trying to do this sort of thing, so. Yeah. And I think that like, you know, we're all beginners here. We're all just trying it out. But he's oh. the, you know it's Batman, so. You're sharing Jacob? Yeah. Bad news. What? You're sharing your screen with me, but not the uh, the audience. Is that true? Yeah. Yeah, it's just your desktop. That makes sense, I guess. Um, I can just do this. I can just do this. 
Here you go. Look at it, audience. Okay, so now, oh, now you guys can is see. Here. Batman is the Windows. Yeah, Jacob, your Batman doesn't look any. It looks like the Windows logo. It looks like a desktop background with a, a <laughs> Zoom window. Yeah, I really like that. I like how that came out. Um, and yeah, you get like the sense of motion. You get the sense of composition. You get you get like form. And so, yeah, I think that that's, I think that that's good. I think that's a good thing. I think it's a good way to practice. <laughs> My Batman looks so concerned. He's just like, what? You got a really you... nice, like dynamic sense of movement though. Yeah. He's looking, he's, mine's looking more up than, uh, than Max's. Max's is really huffing and mine's like, oh. Yours is panel two where he's just noticed something yeah as he's running exactly um okay and then i thought i guess uh we can we can sort of talk more about some of my other pieces sure and how uh how i how i went about doing so like i like i talked about with the um with the laszlo painting very much just was like okay we're gonna make we're gonna make a little bust a uh a uh a bust painting and we're gonna we're gonna focus on just the values and we'll add the colors in at the end so that's that's what i did so we can go take us through the whole process take us back to the back to the beginning got all this stuff those right now so yeah we just made a little circle background and then each um Each little piece. Oh, I didn't turn off the colors and the feathers. Here beats. Those colors were always there. Where is it? Oh, it was layer 16. Of course. Of course. I'm so bad at labeling layers. So yeah, uh, for this one, I did not do any distillation. I straight up just sketched it in with line. Um, and then I turn off all of the, turn off all of the clipping masks. And then we can just see. Oh my God, his eyes. His eyes are very scary when I do it that way. But yeah, in, th in this instance, what I did was I just sort of blocked it in. I blocked in different parts. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, which is, you know, sort of the opposite. It's like uh, uh, not holistic sort of approach to composition. This was very much just like, I just kind of want to do, uh, I just, I just kind of want to do this portrait. I keep thinking of Laszlo from Camp Laszlo. <laughs> that was a monkey. This is a man. So, you know, I guess if we if we really want to simplify it, like this would be sort of the distillation. So we have uh it's 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 less sort of defined by the shape of the uh the values and more just like the shapes created by sort of the darks and lights of the outfit and hair. Yeah. Which is, which is another way to do it. Like yeah, there's, not wrong. I don't think, I don't think that's wrong. It's uh, it's different. It's maybe less interesting visually. Um, but it's also, a you know, if it, it, I think it's a, it's a decent way to like practice identifying shapes. It's just like, okay, yeah. What shape does take, take the hair 
as its own shape. Take the the vest and the tie as its own shape, and like you sort of get this this uh, this the same idea uh, here. In in this instance, I like I said, I used uh, I did an underdrawing first. That ended up being uh, the line work for the piece, but. Uh, Typically, if you're if you're drawing, the lines are forming shapes as well. Uh, they you just can't might not escape be, the shapes. You can't escape the shape. No no shape escape. And then uh, as we as we move into the uh, each little zone, uh, I'm basically sort of working working the values within each shape and forming these these other shapes. So like I've, I've darkened some areas, I've lightened some areas, I've uh, you know, you gotta you gotta decide on a light source. Um, yeah, so this is this like it's whites here, and then yeah, sort of creating these forms using lights and shadows. I think, I think it actually looks pretty good without the lines. I'm pretty proud of my... Ooh, that's a little rough, but it's okay. Yeah, I think you did great on this one. Yeah. Um, but again, like, each of these, even if I wasn't, like, necessarily thinking in terms of, like, trying to simplify the form... Uh, simplify the, the, the shapes that the shadows were making, we're still finding them, right? Like... We're still like each of these are sort of little little shapies. And um and so basically the the technique that uh that Max Greca uses is after you have rendered in all of your uh all of your like base shadows and uh, all, all your base values. You then, uh, you add color layers on top. And that's just, that's something in Photoshop. It's a, it's a layer style. So um, basically these are just sort of like flatted in colors. You change the layer style to color. You put it right on top of your values, and it applies the values you've done to the color layer, which I think is pretty cool. How handy! Sort of saves you, saves you a step. Obviously, like there's there's more to it than that, and like uh, I think Karina does a really good job in her uh, color tutorial about talking about um, thinking about your color choices for a piece um, beyond just like, what is it? What is it? You know, this is sort of like a, a sort of a, a, a peachy color. This is a little bit redder color. Uh, the hair is just sort of a brown color. Like these are, these are like the, the colors you would, you would expect, but like you can do more interesting stuff. Like if we go to this, we got, we got these like blues and purples and like yeah there's so many interesting tones and colors in there yeah there's like red here blue here like you can really and like pretty saturated around here um i think that's a little bit more advanced than what we're talking about but like it's something to, to think about it's just like warms and cools and how they play off each other can add a lot more depth because here um here in his tutorial, like this is the final image, um, but like the this is the the, the more uh, base image, and this is this is I think closer to to what I was doing with regards to like um, like he does like the, the whole oops. he doesn't 
doesn't mean Louis Lowe's either. <laughs> you're you're blueing him. I blew myself. Nathan, you blew him. I blew him. You can't do that. I made him blue. Why Stop. is he blue? Stop oh, it. But yeah, like this is the this is sort of the base uh, render right here, and then he adds the skin tone on top, and then he does a bunch of like adjustments on top that I don't even know. I don't even super know what like they some are. Color balance and some hue saturation and some brightness or something yeah so there are a lot of there are a lot of levers you can pull uh when 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 doing your digital painting but it all it all sort of comes back to like an understanding of like light and shadow and defining the forms using shapes like we've got these very like dark shapes here under the eyes, this dark shape here indicate the uh, shadow that the chin is casting and like the shape here, hair is casting a shadow like it all points to like, okay, the light's coming from here, it's hitting here. There's like more subtle shadow around the side of the face. Like that. Yeah. You get it. You freaking get it. Um, can talk about my uh, space shark a little bit because this was one that I wanted to do a more sort of painterly render of, but I think it is a pretty good example of like distillation in that like there are only uh, in the shark itself, there are basically one, two, three, four values and then this like sort of cheaty rim lighting that I did in order because I again like if I were to do this again I would probably do a full like compositional distillation that included the uh the background because I, I don't know if people remember that the um I sort of gave myself a, a problem because I, I started with this very neutral gray background and then defined the foreground forms. But what I actually wanted was a very dark background. Um, and so, you know, you can save yourself a headache if you think more holistically about the entire composition uh, before getting into it and doing sort of like a, a, a distillation doing doing a, a, a like two value compositional study breakdown thing uh, in order to in order to save yourself from like being like oh sh oh no I spent all this time defining all these shadows but the background is also in shadow and I don't want to lose all the work I did yeah so like we could even uh, we could even take all this let's see if we could take it back to our <laughs> we could take all this and just get rid of it you take it over here and again we can try and try again be like okay let's 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 tr let's try and do a better job distilling this and see if we can't make a more uh interesting composition and i feel like by your end result you had arrived at a very good place that's true but what if just, I just kind of want to see what if. Yeah, I want to see what if too. Like this is start, like Marvel's what if of Droppy. Yeah, let's start let's Start with dark and we'll work light into it. And of course I put it on the same layer. Hold on. Back 
Batman, go away. You can't be here anymore. We don't want to play with you anymore, Batman. Friendship ended with Batman. What if, what if we just like try and. So you're going for like the two tone distillation first, right? Yeah. Yeah, I think so. And I do, I do like the, the sort of shadows I did inside, but like, I think, you know, we can really make it sort of feel like it's emerging from the shadows if we if we take the the dark background into consideration at the start of the piece it's kind of a fun way to i guess it's not drawing it's painting Mm -hmm. but it's it's fun in its looseness feels yeah. like a lot less pressure when you're not doing lines yeah it's like whatever i can just erase it yeah that's fine do it different blob it out different just blob it out different this time We could say like maybe maybe there's something light casting light over here. And so like this whole part maybe is light. Cause it's near a glowing space thing. Thing. Yeah. Yeah, why not? Why not? This guy can be can be sort of backlit this time now I'm changing the lighting scenario for the the little guy yeah I don't know I don't know if this is better but it's interesting it's something it's like we're trying it you know we're figuring it out we're bumble assing our way through how else do you learn if not through bumble assing I don't know. It's just something I wanted to try. Yeah, I think it's cool. But yeah, I think like do this with both photographs and uh, pieces of art you like and see if you can like identify what the artist did and then also you know, see, okay, what if I, what if I define it a little differently? Like, um, in the example that, uh, Cynics does in his tutorial, he, um, he actually puts the, the, like, little shoulder bird, shoulder griffin fully in shadow here instead of, uh, having this light patch. And he keeps he he makes it um, makes it a little bit lighter with the with the third value, but um, whereas if you look at the original piece, this is very much like fully lit. Yeah, yeah. And so he's like, you know what? I think compositionally it'd be better <coughs> if it was in shadow. And so like that's something you can think of, you know what what your aesthetic preferences are as you do it. Yeah, honk if you love aesthetic preferences. Aesthetic preferences. Um, and then sort of same thing with the cat bus painting. This one came out so good. Yeah, I was, I was pretty happy with it. But again, it's like, it's, it's dark on dark. This time I at least knew I wanted the background to be dark. So I started from a dark background. And then uh, 
used rim lighting to do most of my like form defining. But I think if you were to do a, a distillation of this, you would you would kind of have to make the background light and the foreground dark. And then yeah, I like, think so too. Slowly darken in the background. I mean, the background is light comparatively. Yeah. Yeah. Like in this and, piece, the background is the light. In this piece, the background is the light part. Yeah. Like it's obviously not the, the brightest light. The brightest light is, is coming from the eyes, which was something I, I wanted to do um, in this. And then uh, I guess like the eyes and then the rim lighting. Um yeah so i don't know i thought maybe we could try and like for the for the second half of the class do do like a distillation and then maybe see how far we can we can take our our painting from there and like uh you know i can i can talk about or or, or answer people's questions uh whatever whatever people want like is this is this all making I've, I've just sort of been talking this whole time is this all making sense is this all is this is this helpful it, it's making sense to me cool i'm not the audience but I, it makes sense cool. to me audience so the audience they'll they'll tell you They'll tell you once it gets to them. Makes sense to Xander. Hell yeah. That's one. We got one. Like maybe we can take one of one of my brother's um, faces and sort of turn it into our own little little thing. Um, how that sound? Sounds good to me. All right, I kind of, I really like this piece a lot. It's I do like too, that one jumps out at me. Gary person. So let's, you know, let's see if we can make it our own. Let's see if we can make a, make a little, start with doing a distillation and then from there, try and, uh, Try and I'm do a whole do ass painting. Too. Let's do it. Let's do a whole ass painting. We can go together. We can go together. Yeah, I know. Please. Please just let me move the there we go. This time I am gonna start with a rectangle. I feel like that's a mistake I made last time. This is called learning. It. We're just sweaty. learning together. Um, I guess, you know, let's start, let's start dark again. It's mostly dark, but we can, we can work, uh, light on top of dark for sure. Yeah. That's sort of what I'm heading for here. Let's just, you know, let's just find some cool shapes in there. Let's define some, some shapies. So what's, what's sticking out to me, of course, are these eyes yeah Oop. i would say so as well just gonna see how this goes just see how it goes and everyone watching at home feel free to draw along do we have your brother's permission for this is he gonna sue us <laughs> i asked him if uh if i could use his stuff as examples for the stream. And he said, uh, yeah, the people may as well get their money's worth. <laughs> <laughs> so he's a little, little bit of a sassy guy. Oh yeah. He he's always sassing me with good reason. He had to put up with me for, uh, his whole life. That I is, got five, that's I got five up. years before I even knew him, but he's, he's had to deal with me the entire time. That's pretty, it's around. pretty rough. Yeah. All right. As usual, I did everything entirely too big. Yeah, that's going to happen. 
because I'm, um, I've got what they call the brain stupids. That's okay. You can have the brain stupids and still paint is what, uh, is what I've learned. That's excellent news. Yeah. Because otherwise I would be in a, a heap of trouble. Just, just again, like use whatever brush you like the best. I am just using the, um, the, the, the simple hard round brush because I want, I, I don't want it to feel like prohibitive in any way. Yeah, I'm just using this gray one that that Julia uses for portraits. That's a good one. That like chisel. Yeah, because that's the one that it was already on. Nice. I also made everything too big. As it turns out. Now I went ahead and made the neck too big. So it's for me, it's a process of slowly drawing things and then slowly making them the right size piecemeal after the yeah, fact. You can do that's I mean, that's what's so nice about digital painting is that like you can hack it all up and it's fine like there's no pressure it's just whatever you whatever you feel like get that here in there yeah this is we're kind of getting somewhere they I love how it's just like it's like so blended in with the background. Yeah, I feel like I'm getting somewhere with this. Yeah. Just like, you know, look at the shapes, look back at the thing, be like, is this is it doing is it doing what I want? Is it is it looking okay? Got to remember that I'm drawing with the light. Stop erasing. <laughs> <laughs> Get a mouth in there. That would be good. A couple of two twofers. Eeps. I am definitely switching a lot between my light color and my shadow color. I, yeah. I cannot help but do that. What's going to happen? You know what? Let's just, I'm just going to make this all one shape. It doesn't have to be two shapes. You can decide, like, you know what? I'm going to make the upper lip a shape. Upper lip does touch this sort of nose shadow here. So we're, I'm, I'm, I'm going back on what I said. This is, there are two shapes there. And then sort of thing in here, this little dimple. Sometimes it's two shapes. Don't know what else to tell you. Just got this like the bottom lip, but also the shadow under the bottom lip chin sort of shape chin dimple chimple as we've called them in the past called them in the past and then you ever like look at a part of a thing you've drawn and you're just like Oh, I just totally ignored the reference on that one, huh? Yep. I just did what, I just <laughs> defaulted to how I normally do that thing. Yeah. And completely not, ignored the reference. That's not how it looks. Which, yeah, it's exactly. not, it's just not right. It's simply not it's right. Incorrect. And that's okay, because again, it's your painting. Like we're using reference to help us, to help guide us. But at the end of the day, it's your painting and you can sort of do it however. And you can cry if you want to. And you can cry if you want to. If painting makes you cry, you can cry. I think this is kind of 
kind of getting there. I'm definitely kind of getting there. I use sort of a middle gray for my lights instead of a instead of a white. Yeah. I hope that's okay with you. Yeah. It is. Cuz I'm not changing it for you or anyone. Oh, I'm getting a call from Arlington, Texas. Cool. Cool. I know so many people there. I feel like the spam callers have really been like branching been, out lately. Yeah, they've been doing it. They're like, maybe a call from Phoenix, Arizona will get him. No, I've never, I don't know anyone never, there. I don't, I would, why would I? Why would I answer a call from there? Made the nose um, wrong. That's okay. I think we're gonna try to make it righter than it is. Pretty sure I I made it the exact same way it was before. Somebody outside is mad. Oh yeah, I can't hear him. I heard him say a curse word. Wow. So again, like I'm looking it kind of it helps to look at it on the stream because I'm like, oh, like seeing yeah. it from further away. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, I mean, um, that makes sense. But yeah, I think like this is. Again, it's not like exactly right, but I don't think we that I don't think that's super important. Like, we never promised to, it would be. Yeah, like this is we're using Steven's art as inspiration for for hours like he's got such a good understanding of the of the values here yeah you definitely lean a lot heavier in terms of what you identify as shadow than i do it was the same in the batman one yeah i guess that's what the artist's interpretation comes down yeah. to huh and it's and it's okay like the, these aren't going to be identical. Like I wouldn't expect mine to look like yours or to look like anyone else's, but I, I sure hope that if people are, are painting along that they're sharing their stuff in the, uh, in the discord. And yeah. now, uh, now we can sort of, uh, I think I've, I've reached a point now where I want to add a third value. And I think I'm definitely going to work in the shadows with it because, uh, I left so much of it in shadow. Yeah, I'm probably gonna work within the the lights, I imagine. There you go. Is what I'll do. Let's add in a little third value here. We're gonna make Let's... another layer just in case. Case of emergencies. Add a little bit of a glow to these eyes. Let's add a little to this, this ear, sort of the outside of this ear. I find this very relaxing. It does feel nice, doesn't it? Yeah. And you know, as you're going in and doing this stuff, like, you, if you reach a point where you're adding your third value and you're like, you know what? I think I, I think I messed up. I think I messed something up here. You can, you can go back and, and, and fix it. It's okay. I'm not going to tell on you. I'm not going to tell. I'm not going to narc who, who on you. Gonna, who am I going to tell? I don't know anyone. I don't know anyone. Probably the, the lip, the lip zone. 
I love this creepy person my brother made. They're so cool. Yeah, right now I sort of feel like I'm uh, taking my drawing to to Trash City. Yeah, that's that's something to keep in mind. Is like. <laughs> Your drawing is going to look, or painting rather, is going to yeah, look worse before it gets uh, good. Like there's a there's a point at which you're just going to look at it and be like, what the hell did I do? And that's okay. That's part of it. It's part of the process. I must trust in the process. I must believe in myself. That's the place to start. Arthur. Like Arthur That's, taught me? Like Arthur teaches us. And so like I'm not I'm not keeping it exactly the same as, as how Steven did it. Like I'm I'm making I'm making some decisions now. Like kind of feels like this person has like long hair down the back. It's kind of what I'm getting. I'm not oh, sure. Interesting. That's just sort of how I'm interpreting it. I wasn't thinking of it that way. But that's okay. Is it okay? That's fine with me. Okay. If you're okay with it. I'm okay with it. I gotta get some of this. Gotta get some of this in there. Yeah. I really want to see yours. You you will see it when we've reached uh, a level of completion. Yeah, so I made I stretched the face out. I stretched the face out is what I'm is what I'm realizing. Looking at it, the more I look at it, like this is not the same person. We are, we are not the same. They are not the same. We're gonna, I'm going to get some more lights in here, too. This can be smaller here. Yeah. Like, this is, you know, it's it's getting somewhere. It's like the the urge to blend, right? Is um is very strong. And I and that's sort of the next uh the next step is like. Uh, edges, sort of like. Uh, hard versus. Soft, edges. Um, and so, yeah, I think like that's sort of the, so like this, obviously it's, it's, uh, like this is, we've, we've just been doing distillation, but like, I want to do a little bit of like, um, of sort of like the next step is cause obviously like the, these, this is like a good, a good way to get yourself in the habit of like thinking about, uh, thinking about shape when when you're painting but the next step is like going in and being like okay how do we how do we soften some of this up uh and so i will be oh photoshop's doing that thing okay i won't be i won't be it turns out oh it's it's dancing just doesn't want to let me doesn't want to let me do it. What are you trying to do? Um, hold on. Hold on. I don't want to hold on. Just a little. Just keep um, well, anyway. 
I'm just going to turn on uh, opacity. We're going to stick with the hard round brush. I'm going to turn on opacity. And now what we can do is we can do another layer. And now when I press a little bit, um, and now we can we can start working sort of in both, in sort of in the both the zone. The now both that we've got zone. these now that we've got these nice shapes. Um, and add a layer on top. And uh, and so for this for this stage, going in sort of with this light, this light touch, I'm still on the same gray that I was using for the for the mid-tones. And now I'm just sort of going in and lightly, lightly adding like some some blendies. Little will it blend. Will it blend? And uh, I'm going to be using the eyedropper tool a lot because I'm not using a blender brush. Like there are there are some really nice blender brushes out there, but you can get a pretty similar effect if you're just constantly like eyedroppering these like these zones and going back in and making these like subtle subtle adjustments yeah and using the using the opacity sensitivity and now and now i've i've sort of i've lost the plot a little bit like we did <laughs> and 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 that's and that's going to happen like we did we did the steps and now I'm like, okay, I've got this sort of basic drawing down, this basic, these these basic forms and shapes defined, and now and now we can just heck them up, you know. We don't need to be precious with it. I think we can try some stuff. So I'm I'm on a new layer now, above, above like my defined values, and I'm just like adding in. A little bit of like softness even though i'm using the hard-edged brush sure i'm uh i'm i'm applying pressure differently and i'm like you know some stuff's gonna dude gonna stop disappear. pressuring me yeah you're applying pressure i'm applying a little bit of pressure i'm feeling uncomfortable so we're just like softening up some of the difference between the uh the values that we've that we've established i think that's good yeah you know it does like occupy a lot of of your brain space to do this yeah i feel like i'm not uh like i i'm not like providing a lot of instruction because i don't that's just not how i think about it i'm like i've, I've given the instruction from the point of view of the of the tutorials that i've looked at but now when when you get into it it's very much just like feeling it out, vibing it out, seeing what what kind of looks okay to you, and also a, understanding that sometimes you're going to put something down and it's it's you're going to be like why did it why does it look like that now? I don't like I don't like it. That's okay. Actually, yeah, definitely. Um, feeling some of that myself yeah but it's it's fun yeah there's a reason we don't do this on the show and it's because i find it almost impossible to banter while i'm doing this that's okay because it's like um, it's like the opposite of the style with which i feel like we usually operate which is like we have a plan yeah that we're enacting I have no plans. And in this, it's like, I can't, I can't have a plan. 
because I don't know what I'm doing. But I think that like the the little bit of planning, which was just like fully blocking in the shadows, um, helped. Instead of going in fully, just like I don't know what I'm doing. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. So, thank you, thank you, cynics, for that that bit of guidance. Look at how much we can learn. My my person is is just this is the this is like Stephen's drawings cousin. <laughs> Like they're not the same anymore. They're not, they're not trying to be the same anymore and that's okay. They found their own way they want to be. And I think that's, that's beautiful. Yeah. Um, do people have questions? We're in like the last half hour and I've sort of just been like throwing stuff at you. Um, I've not been looking at the chat. I'm, I'm, I'm presenting it to the chat to be like, Hey, is there, is there something that you would like me to cover that I have not done yet in this? In this class. Bodies of water. Okay. Oh no. Sure. Uh, I don't do that typically, but we, we can, we can sure, um, we can sure just, we can try, we can see if we can see if using the techniques that we've already talked about. You've removed helps. my reference. Oh no. I'm sorry. Hold on. There it is. Just a sec. Let me find, I, mean, I can, find, I can also just find stop. Ocean. Let's look at let's look at the ocean. I'll just stop here with what I'm doing. Let's let's even see if if any of these artists have any paintings of bodies of water. I feel like water you really got to know how to stylize it. Yeah. Cuz if you try to replicate it exactly you'll go crazy. Yeah. You'll go crazy stupid. So yeah, there are let's just take let's just take a look. Let's just uh gosh. Okay, hold on. Just trying to find some good ref. Yeah, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna go to Art Station. I'm just gonna search for water. Damn, there's some cool shit. Okay. So this is an artist named Robin Tran. We're just gonna, we're just gonna, I'm taking away your reference. I stopped doing it anyway. Okay. Please. Copy. Come on, dude. All right. Here we go. Come on, dude. My computer is chugging. Okay. So here we have a lovely little river. And basically, just looking at this, 
it seems like what they've done is they've chosen this sort of bluish color and they've it's you know it's a very still body of water and what they've done is they've just reflected their the environment in it yeah like literally a, copy flip paste and they've sort of smudged it a little smudge it and then like uh airbrush it out as it disappears so, so that's that's one way to do it um here is an artist named Slawek Fedor. Oh gosh, I'm gonna write it. I'm gonna write it. Down. I'm gonna write down the names of all of these artists so that people can look them up themselves. This was Robin Tran. There it is. Beautiful. This next piece, little ocean, little piece of ocean art. That's some nice, like, simplified water. Yeah, it's really nice. There's no reflection happening in this one. It is, it's because the water is moving. Too turbulent to reflect. It's too, too turbulent to reflect. And I'm just going to copy and paste this person's name. I am sorry for butchering it. Here we go. Whoop. There it is. Yeah, I'm not going to hazard a guess on that one either. But again, like, I think you could do a distillation. Like, th this person, like, did a value study. I don't know if they were working from reference or fully from imagination, but, like, these rocks and this water, like, there's there's light and and dark at play here. And they basically they've they've taken these, um, you know what what is essentially just like a bunch of a bunch of bubbles in the water. And what is this? A bunch of bubbles? It's a bunch of bubbles in the water and distilled it down to these these lovely, very organic shapes. And I they're they're clearly using some sort of like um, it's not a round brush. It looks like it it probably is like a square or chisel. Yeah, would be my guess. And so the, the the shapes are very sort of jagged, but like it it works with the whole overall composition. Like you have these sort of smooth rock shapes that are broken up by these more sort of jagged shapes. And again, we've got this lovely sort of balance of light or uh, warm and cool where the, the water, everything is sort of warm. Like there's a lot of... Um, like it's the, the water is green. It's not like a full blue. Like we're in the we're in the greens and cyans here. But that contrasts really nicely with these sort of red orange uh, rocks. Um and so yeah, like it's it's about sort of again, it, it all comes back to shape. The shape of water. Best picture winner. That's why it was best picture winner. But let's, you know, let's let's study it. Let's let's do a little let's do a little. Not not this one. Oh god. Okay, we're going to we're going to close some stuff. We close some programs. We're done talking about these ones. But yeah, definitely give uh Max Greca and Cynics and my brother look them up. Look at their stuff. Cynics and, and Max both have tutorials available. You can look at. But like, yeah, let's just, you know, let's let's try it. Let's see if we can do, you know, we've been doing a lot of um, like single subject pieces. But what if, OK, what if? Yeah, we focus more on like a landscape. So again, like let's let's just take a little do a little bloop. Do a little bloop. And let's just let's just light and shadow it in a little bit. Sort of a bluish greenish gray. 
it's like you I'm know. just gonna watch you do this one. You got it. I'm actually gonna I'm gonna work I'm gonna do the the light the light shapes again because that seems maybe easier. And let's just like you know oh, I'm gonna turn off the opacity. Yeah, I think stuff like this, especially with like water and waves, looks really complicated when you're like looking at it and trying to analyze it. Mm -hmm. But the artist at the time probably was not like, I know exactly where I'm going to place each wave. They were just like, I'm going to take this light color close to white and I'm just going to like start scribbling in these waves and then taking them away where they don't make sense and then adding some here and adding some here. Yeah, it's, it's like a, a slow building process rather than like knowing where it's all going to go ahead of time. Yeah. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> Truly have lost the plot. <laughs> You're just doing some squigs. I'm just drawing squiggles. What is this? <laughs> this is for beginners, this class. Okay, drawing waves is too hard for beginners. Beginners, stop. Stop drawing waves. Don't do not do this one. If you're do a beginner, later. this is not for you. This isn't even for us. No, we I don't can't know do what this. I'm doing. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. This is nothing. This is nothing. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to go up on YouTube for everyone to see at some point. And they're going to be like, people paid money for this? <laughs> Maybe I should have just picked like one spot of this painting. Yeah, I feel like you bit off too much. I bit off too much there. Yeah. That was too hard. And that's that's part of it. Part of being a beginner artist is like deciding something's too hard to do. What about just this? And it's like there's that like ratio you want to aim for which, when you're like working, which is like, you know, 90% stuff you can already do and like 10 percent new stuff yeah so that you know because if you if you get the ratio wrong like nathan just did you embarrass yourself you, you just feel like shit <laughs> and you're like oh i can't do anything actually but that's not true you can yeah just not all of that because you've not done any of that yet so it's a little too much to do all at all right out the gate so this this is this is good actually. This is a teachable moment you've yeah. made. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, this was all on purpose. That was on purpose. You, you fell into my trap. You fell for it. You Nathan... fell for it. You thought you thought I actually felt uh, bad <laughs> just then. It's all an act. It's all an act. This was all planned from the start. Get get real. Get real. Oh no. Oh no, I did it all on the same layer. God damn it. Yeah, just just switch back and forth from just, just co the colors. Just do a little swapsies. Yeah, just okay. do swapsies on the colors. It's no problem. It's no problem. But like you get you you guys kind of you get you get what I'm saying, right? You understand like it, at this point it's like execution, right? Like you understand what you're trying to do. It's just doing it. It's just, it's, you're going to get better at it. Like I've never, I don't paint the ocean. <laughs> so I don't know what I'm doing. I don't paint the ocean and I don't intend to start painting the ocean. But like, this is kind of like, if we're just like looking at the shapes, like, yeah, they're just, they're just a bunch of shapes in like, there. If you were going to start painting the ocean, this is what you would do. Yeah. This is how you would learn look at it and be like okay sure it's kind of like this <laughs> it's sh of. it's shapes it's just like little little shapies and if you look at this this painting up top now that we're so close in on it like look how you know jaggy and kind of abstract it all is yeah this this is like someone who has spent so much time doing these shapes that they're like very confident to just be like, okay, yeah. And and 
and they and they've again they've moved beyond just like the the value stuff like this they've got this like green and then th this little blob of the blue in here like that's that's some like traditional painting stuff yeah happening where like yeah it's this is really cool and like you again you get like these hard edges and then some like real nice blending happening this is this is freaking cool I mean, I'm sure I'm not, I'm not going to be able to do it because I'm not I'm not as skilled as this person. I'm a beginner and that's OK, but you can still sort of like get an idea of it. Yeah, I'm sure what they did is take the whole water area with no waves on it and just like splotch in a bunch of different tones of yeah. blues and stuff that you find in the ocean in that whole area and then just add the waves on top of that. Yeah. I'm sure that's I'm positive. That's what they did. That's what they did. It's not like they, you know, are, are making all these decisions at once. It's like, yeah, they're getting the base of the ocean in first and then making waves on top of that. Let's see if it looks better. If I, if I do the, the actual colors, just like color pick from the, this is going to become your new, like white whale. Yeah. You're going to become obsessed with depicting the ocean. Yeah. You, In every Drawfee challenge, Nathan's just going to draw the ocean again. I'm drawing. Oh, he's drawn the ocean again. This was a character challenge, Nathan. Yeah, the ocean yeah, the is ocean, a character. I'm. My heart belongs to the ocean. If you understood the characters, the characteristics of the ocean, you wouldn't even be saying that right now. Yeah. You sound so stupid to the ocean. To the ocean. To the wall. It's beautiful. It's a beautiful ocean. We've got this rock. Oh, oh, this rock. Oh, this rock. I completely. I just completely don't have it at all. <laughs> <laughs> it's just not right at all what I'm doing. I just, we're just figuring it out. This is how anything. you figure it out. This is how you figure it out. Just like, look at the stuff, do some color picking, be like, okay, yeah, he's got some of this. He's doing some of this in there. Mine's not as good. I'm, I'm panicking, but it's okay. It's but I feel fine. like, you know, you see it and you're like, yeah, that's some water with rock yeah. in it. No doubt about it. What else could it be? Okay, the water changes color as it as it approaches the beach. See, this is the thing about like people that paint landscapes and stuff. They're like heroes to me. They're really doing it. Because it's like they have to think about all that shit. And that this sucks to me. Purple. I don't know what I don't know how they how they thought of that. I don't want to think good. about that. That's that seems so hard to think it looks about. It's really good when they do it. Whoops. I don't know. It's a mess. It's a mess what I did, but these obviously... these purples in the sand. What are they how how'd they think of that? Why does it look good? It's crazy. Yeah. Um Julia's like well, let's Robert De Niro staring at the screen right now. <laughs> Let's uh let's go back to my original steps. See if see if someone who makes paintings of water <laughs> has any tutorials. Yeah, they, look, look them up. Look to the experts, not You've us. Never seen me. I don't know. I like. I guess if we go back to the uh, the title image. I kind of did some water in there. Did I crop it though? Is it fully cropped? No, oh, there water. it is. So here. That's a simplification of water that I can get behind. Yeah. It's just reflection and some ripples. That's yeah. At its basis yet, level, that's what we're working with here. It's reflection and ripples. And then how turbulent it is is up to you. 
God, that one really threw me. I'm so sorry. I got, I got a little <laughs> got a little frazzled there. I mean, honestly, I'm proud of you for even attempting it. If someone had asked me to show them how to depict water, I would just straight up say no to their face. Yeah. Like, no, I'm not going to show you. No, how to that's do not that. what we're doing today. <laughs> I refuse to show you how to do that because I can't do it. Yeah. Um <laughs> <laughs> any any other questions <laughs> any other questions any other qu <laughs> come on let's go i hope i really do hope this has been like helpful in you know just like i i think that there's no like there's no one correct way to draw or paint like, especially if you're doing it for fun, which is you like, that's typically what I feel qualified to give advice on is like, I assume y'all are trying to get back into art or doing art because it's something you enjoy. Um, for like professional level advice, I my professional art experience is like drawing comics for the internet and doing a YouTube show. So like that's what I'm qualified to talk about. Yeah. Um and what I found is like people people say that like the Drafi has helped them find the fun in art. And so like that that's what I'm trying to do is like give you sort of the the basics that you can then take and and follow uh you know, figure figure it out figure out how to how to make the drawings that you're making the paintings that you're making uh look better to you yeah totally. um and it's a and, it's a slow step-by-step -step process and i'm and i'm doing it too and like there we are so lucky to live in this time where like the the barriers between people who are doing this stuff professionally and you are like basically non-existent like you can find a, a, a lot of a lot of really skilled artists are just giving away really good advice uh for for free and so uh, i highly recommend you check them out and uh and i appreciate that uh those of you who are here uh, supporting us because you 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 want to you want to go on that journey uh, with us and so I, I hope that I can help remove some of the the mystique some of the like oh I'm I'm not you know I'm still just a beginner so I can't I can't dive right in you can dive right in you Jump can in make there. a mess you can make a mess on on the on the screen for an audience and it's fine nothing bad happened yeah, when Nathan doesn't it. have to go to jail. I don't have to go to jail because I made sort of a mess on the screen there. And also the thing is, you you know more now about depicting the ocean than you did when you started trying to depict the ocean moments ago. Yeah. Like you learned some stuff about it from trying. Yes, absolutely. More than you knew before. Yes. And you don't have to go to jail. And you, no, no one, yeah, no one should go to jail. Nathan gets put into squiggle jail. Um. Anyways, uh, I, can I see your? Uh, oh, you want to see my guy? I want to see your guy. Okay. Yeah. My, my guy's. Guy. He's he's a little he's a little different. My guy, he's right. not like other guys. I'm gonna. I'm just going to stop sharing. Yeah, that's fine. I will share and I will remember to put him in the right place this time. Cool. So there there he is. And there well, he I is. Well, I like your guy. I, I chose to not depict the top of the head at all because I liked this. Yeah. More like that's really good. dichotomy style. Yeah. But... um. Yeah, slaps, I, Jacob. I didn't really capture a lot of the the nastiness of Steven's guy. We did we did three different guys, all from one guy. 
yeah, they're they're totally three different guys. But that's part of it too. You want to, you know, you're you're going to put your own little style and spin on it whether you want to or not. Yeah. I can't do a, a Steven guy cuz I'm not Steven. Right. Drawing Every, a guy. Yeah. Like I I took I took my lessons from from some like really skilled artists and ended up with the stuff that I made and it looks different than the stuff that they make. And you're going to take the stuff that I taught you and you're going to make some stuff that looks different from what I made and from the, the people who I learned from. And then you can teach someone how you did it. And they're going to do the cycle, their own thing with it. Yeah. I think that's beautiful. Um, I think that too. But yeah. You know, we're just figuring it out. I think that like that's... Uh, I'm going to go back to sharing my screen again. Like, I, I don't know. I, I found doing these, these sort of shape and value studies very helpful just for my art in general. And so I hope that, uh, I hope that you all do that too and are less afraid to try that. And, you know, if any of you, uh, paint, paint the ocean uh definitely share that in the discord i i really want to see that yeah i want to see your attempts at depicting the ocean as well we we can all attempt to depict the ocean together um and uh yeah that's i think that's a that's a draw class yeah we want to want to stop it want to stop doing it I need, yeah, I need a nap. That yeah, that was really... a lot of hard mental work. <laughs> for sure. Uh, po post all your stuff in the draw class chat. Post all your stuff in the draw class chat. Uh, if uh, you're watching the VOD later and you're thinking, you know, I'd, I'd sure like to be here live for the next one. Oh, baby, you can sign up. I believe th this tier is the same tier that also gets the PSD is with all of our unlabeled uh, layers. That's true. So, so it's a it's a twofer. It's a mess all the way around. Um, but yeah, thank you all so much for your support. Thanks for coming on this art journey with me. It's not over. We're just beginning. And uh, yeah, I just, you know, it should be fun. If you're doing it for fun, it should be fun. If you're if you're looking for professional level advice, uh, there are professionals who can give you that in a way that I cannot, and that's okay. We're sorry. We're sorry. Goodbye. Bye.